Hello, my name is Mary Roddy from the UK OSIRIX user group and today I want to talk to you about how to clone your OSIRIX preferences using the latest Macintosh operating system 10.9 for Mavericks. Now, many of you who are already familiar with using OSIRIX for teaching purposes uh, know how important it is to set your OSIRIX preferences to the ideal settings for teaching and this includes things like being allowed to edit the DICOM headers to anonymise patients um, and to stop cases being automatically deleted from the database and um, many of you may be familiar with where your OSIRIX preferences are hidden on your computer but for those of you who aren't what you need to do is to look at your finder menu and under the go title look at all the files underneath there the file you're looking for is the library file but it won't appear until you press the alt key and when you press the alt key you can click library and it will open and the particular folder that you want to find on here is the preferences folder and if you open the preferences folder you will find lots of uh, plist files which are the preference files for how the different programs on your computer work now if you go right down nearly to the bottom you will find the file that controls your OSIRIX preferences and it's called com Rosse Antoine. Now, if you copy this file, that has all your preferences stored on it. And if you go to another Macintosh computer and paste your list file into the preferences folder in the library, when you open up Asarix, it should work in exactly the way you want it to. Now, this has actually been already very well described um, in a tutorial on the OSIRIX user group website which I'm showing you here under cloning preferences but the reason for me making this uh, new video is that this technique actually doesn't work with the latest version of the Macintosh operating system so you have to uh, copy your preferences in a slightly different way and that's what I'm going to show you now so if I open up this version of OSIRIX, and this is um, the latest version that is available, you'll see it's version 5.8.2, the 32-bit free version, and that's what I'm using at the time of making this recording. If you look at how it looks once it's been downloaded from the website, there'll be certain things you'll notice. If you go into the preferences and look, for example, at the general preferences, you'll see that DICOM editing has not been allowed. This is the default. Um, and you'll also notice that in the anonymization protocols, there's a very basic anonymization protocol there, which wouldn't really be suitable for teaching purposes. So how do I insert my preferences uh, into this new version of OSIRIX? Well, it's slightly different from before. What we have to do is go to the OSIRIX preferences and you'll see on the general setting there is um, a heading here which allows you to load preferences. So if I click that button, um, I can now go to my saved uh, list file which saves the preferences that I like to use for my teaching purposes and all I do is open that. The program will ask me am I absolutely certain I want to do this and I can say yes I am and it tells me then that I'm going to have to restart OSIRIX for these changes to be applied. So that's what I'll do now. I'll quit out of OSIRIX and then I will open it up again. So now my new 
preference settings hopefully will have been applied. So if I go to the uh, Asarix menu and look at the general preferences, I will see that now DICOM editing is allowed, which is one of the things that we need for uh, teaching. And if I look at my anonymization protocols, you will find that the default protocols that I've put on for our teaching purposes in our department are all available. So the degree of anonymization that we use for the discrepancy meeting for our departmental museum and for the individual personal museums have all been um, uploaded onto the preference settings. So what I've shown you today is a new way of um, uploading your OSIRIX preference settings which you will need to use if you are using the latest uh, version of the Macintosh operating system and the latest version of OSIRIX. I hope that saves you lots of trouble and was a bit helpful. Thank you very much.